chalk one up for the blackboard. This trusted teaching tool goes back centuries, yet still remains the focal point of the classroom. Today's blackboard, or chalkboard as it's also called, hasn't changed that much in appearance, but the materials used to make it have changed. Our lesson begins at the blackboard factory with thin sheets of galvanized steel that will eventually form the front and back surfaces of the blackboard. They arrive at the factory already pre-cut to standard sizes, 6, 8, 10 or 12 feet. First stop is a machine that blasts the sheets with acid. This removes any dirt that would prevent paint from adhering to the surface. As the sheets exit the cleaner, powerful fans dry them off. The paint is a type of acrylic enamel designed especially for blackboards. The factory adds a powdered mineral formulation to make it dry to a rougher texture. This helps chalk adhere better. Traditional slate blackboards were naturally black. Today's steel surface boards come in several colors. The most popular, though, are black and green. Some companies use colored porcelain instead of paint. Here, spray guns apply three coats of paint, one after another, with no drying time in between. For the paint to harden properly, it has to be heat set. So the sheets go into an oven at 218 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. A strong fan cools them off as they exit the oven. Next, a worker sprays contact cement on the backs of two painted sheets. One sheet will form the front of the board, the other the back. Sandwiched in between will be what's known as the blackboard's core. It can be made of materials such as particle board or, as we see here, 12 millimeter thick fiber board. Workers feed the three assembled layers through a high pressure roller. It forces out any trapped air and bonds the layers tightly. They make the blackboard's frame out of one long strip of aluminum molding. It has a stain-proof satin finish. They make a series of 45-degree angle cuts. This enables them to bend the strip around the board's perimeter, creating neat corner seams. Workers file down and polish any sharp edges left by the cutting. After verifying that it's perfectly square, they fasten the frame using either rivets or screws, depending on the model. Then they attach an aluminum rail along the bottom to hold the chalk and eraser brushes. This model happens to be a reversible mobile blackboard, the type typically rolled into conference rooms. It has a couple of extra components, a pivot mechanism enabling the board to be flipped to the other side, and a latch system for tilting the board to different angles. The blackboard stand is made of painted steel tubing. It rolls on rubber and chrome-plated steel casters. The factory takes samples from the production line and subjects them to rigorous quality control testing. These tests ensure that the painted surface is glare-free and can withstand everything from chemical solvents and extreme humidity to heavy impact and hard scratches. The company has even designed this special machine to conduct a killer durability test. It applies 100,000 chalk and brush strokes using the typical amount of pressure a person would use. For the production batch to score an A and make it to market, surface wear on the sample has to amount to less than one one-hundredth of a millimeter. And that's not all. The paint finish must still be matte a writing test has to produce chalk lines that are clear and dark enough, and the writing has to erase cleanly and easily.